I'm Heather Dawn and today we're going to be discussing the sun. The sun is a star, there are many stars out there, there's many different types of stars. Um, our sun is a yellow star, it's halfway through its life, so it's middle aged, it's currently 4.6 billion years old. Now I don't know how they work that out, but I'll leave all the uh, research and homework to the professionals. Um, so. As it gets on with its life, it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and eventually engulf all the planets, including Earth. So we're going to have to find a new home soon. <laughs> um, well, not in our lifetime, but, you know, eventually. And it takes eight minutes for the light from the sun to reach the Earth. Uh, and it's very, very, very hot. <laughs> Obviously, I think we all know it's hot. We can feel it from 99 million miles away, which is how far away it is. Um, the sun moves at a rate of 220 kilometres per second, which is really, really uh, fast. Um, it has an 11 year seasonal cycle um, and it can have huge solar storms. Now, some of these solar storms actually reach the Earth, but the Earth has a magnetic field that can blast them off. But if there was ever a really powerful one, it may take out our satellites and our communication systems. Um, it could have huge um, adverse effects for us. It could even, if there was a huge, uh, you know, blast of a solar flare, it could uh, wipe us all out. Um, so there are professionals and people keeping their eye on that. Um, it's middle aged, it's 4.6 billion years old. And it takes eight minutes for the light from the sun to reach us here on Earth. It rotates at 220 kilometers per second, which I'm guessing is really, really fast. <laughs> uh, some old cultures believe the sun to be a god. Um, I suppose it is a kind of god because we all pray for the sun. It's nice to have the summer here in, in England. It doesn't last very long, but uh, we all adore it when it comes. Um, so... We all know about the eclipse and the fact that when the moon is at a certain distance um, it can cover the sun up and we all see the, the solar eclipse and obviously one happened this year. I missed that because I was sat at my desk at work. I wasn't very happy about that. Um, but, you know, as I've said before in one of my other videos, is if anyone got any uh, photos of the eclipse, I'd be interested to see those. You could fit over a million Earths inside the sun so it is absolutely humongous there are some massive suns out there uh, i think there was one called the monster that i saw around the sky at night and i think that could um fit uh was it i think it was a million suns inside it so it, that was huge um and there's uh, neutron stars which are suns that are uh, really compressed and a teaspoon of one of those weighs 99 million tons uh, so I'll leave you with those facts today. Thank you for watching. Just a quick one today because I'm shattered. Um, yeah, I had a busy week, but uh, I hope that you enjoyed the facts. Uh, I'll show you a bit of my sun up there. Look, Ooh. I can reach that. <laughs> eclipse, eclipse at home. Home eclipse. <laughs> right, okay, I'll shut up now. Thank you for watching. Uh, and next time I speak to you, we are going to be discussing shooting stars. Thank you.